G'day folks, this afternoon I'm going kayak fishing for redfin with my good friend Rowan from RKJ Fishing. We're going out in the Warringah Basin and we're going to try and fish a bit deeper and see if we can find some bigger redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right now before we start, I'll just quickly show you what, I've, what I'm taking with me. I'm travelling very light today. I've got a plastic bag to put some redfin in and there's a cold drink in there for me as well, a bottle of lemonade. That bag there's got the, uh, a couple of tackle boxes with all my lures and stuff in it. Then my life jacket, and just all my um, GoPro batteries, asthma puffer and car keys and stuff in there, and that's it. Got two rods. Anyway, before Rowan and I started, while we were getting the kayaks off the roof, a school of redfin started jumping just out here. So we ran down with our soft plastics, and we had a blast. I wasn't filming, but Rowan was, and I'll put a link to that video above so you can check that out. Now let's go out deep and see if we can find some bigger ones. Rowan's already waiting. Right now we're out on the water and we're going trolling. I'm starting off with a tubby native minnow. It might seem pretty big considering a lot of the redfin we catch here are small. I'm just sort of hoping that might sort out the men from the boys if you know what I mean. Might entice a big fish to hit it. And I've got a little strike tiger grub, 1.5 inch curl tail grub, hanging just above that. So that if the little fish don't like the look of the minnow, the tubby native minnow, they can hit the soft plastic. Rowan's hooked up. I'm on, I've hooked up. I've hooked up. I don't think he's very big, but I've hooked up. And I can tell by the vibration in the end of the rod that I've hooked up on the plastic and not the uh, the lure. What have we got? Been trolling for a bit. Oh, it's pulling a bit now. There we go. I'm on the board! That's not a huge fish. It's not big enough to keep, but it is getting bigger. He's uh, a little bit longer and it'll be big enough to keep, but he can go back for now. It's a little bit too small. Yo beauty! <laughs> I just saw a redfin jump right in front of me, like a little mini bust up. It was literally just over there. Got him! <laughs> I saw one jump. I saw a little bust up in front of me, so I put my trolling rod down and grabbed me. Uh... Oh, he got off. Similar size to the one I just caught. I saw one busting up, so I put my trolling rod down and grabbed me soft plastic rod and just cast to the bust up. And it was bang, straight on. Righto, going to the Strike Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in vodka and orange. And I'm just going to drift, just going to drift around the lake casting that. So to let the breeze just slowly take me back in towards that bank over there. Just going to cast this soft plastic around. I'm on. Right under the kayak. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Rowan's just picked one up trolling out there and I've just picked one up under the kayak just uh, casting and retrieving this little striped tiger curl tail grub. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, it's still tiny. Got him. Another little weeny one. He's tiny, this one. Oh, there's two or three there. <laughs> there we go. Two in two casts. I am on a hat trick. I'm on a hat trick, Patrick. I've got another one. <laughs> three in three casts. What was that? I can't hear. I got the redfin hat trick, folks. Three in three casts. While well, I was talking about my friend Hattrick. Hattrick's uh, a great guy. Right, three in three cast. 
Can I? Oh, look! Oh, look at that! <laughs> you look, there's another one on there. <laughs> I just picked it up to cast it again, and a fish grabbed it as I picked it up. I didn't even have to cast for that one. I've got, technically speaking, I've got four in three casts. <laughs> I just had my rod sitting in the water like that. I just lifted it up to make a cast, and a redfin grabbed it right next to the kayak. I have just hooked up to a tiny redfin. Is he on his own? Quite often when you just dangle him next to the water like that, you'll see a whole heap, heap of others with him. Look at that. He has got that down a bit deep too. He'll be alright. Thanks for coming to play, mate. I've headed out to where the water is much deeper. Right, folks, this is the winning combination from Lake Hume last week. The Halco Crazy Deep Diving Lure and the 1.5 inch Strike Tiger Grub. This one is Trout Row Colour. Let's go and troll a monster. Got him. I'll just pick one up on the troll. He's only very small and I think he's on the soft plastic and he might have just got off anyway. I think he gone. Well that or he's small. He's small. He tiny. <laughs> oh well, fish is a fish. Any fish is a good fish. What do you think about that mate? You got anything to say? Oh, Robbie, it's great to see you again. I'll see you next time, Robbie. Oh, see you, mate. Oh, no, I threw him straight into me paddle. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry about that. The poor thing. I went to throw him and do the right humane thing, and he went straight into the enemy paddle. <laughs> I square cut him off to the, uh, out to the bay over there. <laughs> <laughs> right, I back to casting. I've put a new plastic on too. I've gone the uh, same type, the Strike Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub, but banana shot in colour. Oh, not a touch. Got him. <laughs> there you go, just drifting along. Just drifting along, dragging that behind the kayak, and I've caught this little red fin. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get him straight back in as quick as I can so that I can get my line back out. Come on, mate, off you get. Rowan's just hanging around that one spot over there. Oh, I've got a funny feeling he's cleaning up. I reckon he's going to be catching heaps. I hope I'm right. Oh, I've got one. Got him. He's not very big, but I got him. He's coming straight in like a good little boy. Look at the size of that. Oh no, don't fall in the kayak. <laughs> I got him. There you go, tiny weeny little red fin. Couple of old uh, Italian fellas over here doing a bit of bank fishing. I can hear them, but I can't understand a word they're saying because it's all in Italian. I, I did hear them say tomato at one stage, but I can hear a lot of laughing, lots of laughing. And that's what fishing's all about. Doesn't matter what language you speak, how big your tomatoes are, or what species of fish you prefer. If you're not laughing, you're doing it all wrong. We'll start packing up shortly. What is the time? Uh, uh, to fall. Got him. I've got one. 422. 422. I've got one directly out behind where I'm standing. I love like this crucious ride and it's just such a fun rod to use and loads up and you hook a little fish and cast a long way because it's longer and see you later mate I caught you kayak fishing I'm not in my kayak something's had a big chomp out the side of him a yellow belly or a bird or something the wind sort of nah made me do... well mate if, if nothing got him I was gonna say if nothing else oh he got no still got him that made me want to come back over to this side, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Alright folks, what have we got here? 
Look that! Splendid fish! Was. Was. Did you see that? Splendid fish! Oh yeah. Oh that's where we were over there. We were right over there before. Because I can see that log just under the surface. Remember we were looking over to it? Oh, okay. We must have been... Got him. I've got him while I'm, while I'm talking to you. We must have been over there further. I'm following you, <laughs> See you later, mate. Yeah, we'll get going shortly. I'm just enjoying this too much. <laughs> got him. I got him. <laughs> I'd like to say he feels bigger, but when they're further out, they always feel bigger. And the closer they get, then you start thinking, oh, no, he's not, no, he's not, no, he's not. And it's only with him. There's a, there's a couple there. All right. He's a little bit bigger. If I was Lewis just landed right next to it, you'll probably catch that tree stump. <laughs> I'll throw you over there, mate, away from the party. Rightio, yeah, folks. Well, that's it for our, our kayak and bank fishing adventure. <laughs> We've had a fantastic time. The, uh, the best fishing was before we even launched the kayaks, just off the bank. I wasn't filming, but uh, Roman will have a video on his channel, so make sure you check that out. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Warringah Basin kayak fishing adventure. If you have, why not give it a big fat thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification each time I upload a new video.